Hello and welcome everybody, I am Adam the Silly Host and we are back at playing Minecraft. Sweet! Uh, I have to tell you some things uh, before we get into this. Uh, first of all, um, as much as I somewhat like to make uh, videos for YouTube, uh, I will probably make only uh, short summary videos from now on. Uh, because uh, it just takes lots and lots of time to make one single video. I mean, really a lot. Like uh, for a 30 minute video, the editing um, and uh, all the process from finishing to uploading, it, it takes about three to four hours if I want to do a not so bad job and it would take even more but I just can't b bother with uh, doing this, so uh, in the end I just don't want to spend many hours uh, of my day editing videos, so what I will do instead is to get back onto Twitch and I will stream as much as I can, I will stream all kinds of things whether it's uh, going on an adventure in Minecraft or maybe just uh, building, like if you look behind me, yeah, I actually build up there, down here and all over the place. So that is probably the best thing that I love to do, building. Uh, I also do sometimes mining uh, and uh, adventuring because uh, exploring other people's bases and uh, maybe even do a little looting. <laughs> uh, that could be really fun sometimes. Uh, but anyway, that's about the plans. Uh, what I would like to do today is to show you around on this place. Uh, I am planning on the uh, LTT server uh, where there are many many people and uh, it's kind of a fun uh, There were an event recently that I will still have to edit uh, It was a treasure hunt on a small island. I have found uh, many many nice goodies and uh, I will definitely share that video uh, I will just have to push myself to edit it. <laughs> Just like this video, I will have to edit. <sighs> anyway, so uh, back to what I wanted to do today is just to take you to a tour around my base to see what's what uh, to show you around what I have been working on lately. Um, and uh, that should be enough for today, because it will take some time. I hope that you will enjoy it, so... Well... Let's start on the top, I guess. I have built here automated farms, like uh, quite some many, that don't really require anything else but your presence. Uh, you can't really AFK on this server because after like a few minutes you are kicked off uh, because of the number of the people and you don't uh, uh, lag the server unnecessarily. But uh, I usually come up here, I mean, well, not up here, but like here where there is a mob farm and I just kill the mobs and gather the loot in down the systems but as you can see there are other farms like uh, honey farm which is I love to look at these cute bees uh, this is a what's that called bone meal farm yeah I know that these are cacti but uh, they are getting collected there uh, that was not my intention <laughs> but it worked out uh, as you can see, that's a bone meal farm. I also have a cacti farm that makes uh, cactus itself. And as you can see, it collects everything in a very complex-ish and not really efficient uh, waterway system. But as you can see, it actually works. 
and there are of course uh, pumpkin and melon farms up there as you can see the iron farm is working really nicely uh, and everything comes up this way yeah the iron and everything I even have a wool farm down there and uh, luckily even if I am up there killing the mobs it still works nicely I mean just fantastic and all the wool comes up here and everything gets uh, collected like here I hope not falling down I mean there are perks of building everything out of glass but uh, the problem is that you can just fall down and <laughs> it's scary but anyway I have built here a, a rather large storage system uh, well large in my uh, experience I mean you can see there are all colors of wool and everything else that comes from the mob farms bamboo farm sugarcane farm cacti farm pumpkin melon honey everything that I could collect here oh yeah this is works nicely so these are pretty much here although i have to admit the bamboo farm is uh, not uh, working uh, at the moment because i had so much that i just didn't want to deal with it so the minecart uh, with the hoppers are just staying there so it, it, it doesn't get collected uh, i could have killed the redstone part but i was just lazy to mess with that <laughs> Uh, laziness hurts sometimes but anyway uh, let's get upstairs because I want to show a couple of things before we move on as you can see there is an iron farm where Bob our resident uh, zombie is going round and round scaring the villagers who spawn iron golems that I can harvest for all the iron in the world this farm is not really efficient in a sense that uh, I built it in a bad way when I didn't really know how to do it. Oh, there is an iron golem. Uh, because I am AFKing there and the farm is rather this way, so pretty much uh, one, two, three, four pods of villagers are working. And the fifth and the sixth, uh, they don't work that much, although sometimes uh, happens. Uh, but it's dumb luck, but still I get uh, quite a nice amount of iron out of this so If we go down a bit uh, You can see this big platform when I where I harvest trees and I still have some uh, farming uh, fields that I built at the very beginning when I started to play here Although mm, I could demolish them because I do not use them anymore, uh, not really. Uh, I kept them because it kind of looks good in my mind, but uh, maybe later on I will figure something out, uh, but I don't know yet. Uh, another thing that my land is actually quite big. On this server, uh, you have to claim your land, which will be uh, yours. And uh, um, actually, other people cannot touch it without your permission, so you are safe from people stealing from you. My land uh, goes to up until that point like this and goes about that way one of my new buildings um, will be a little island there with a big hill and I plan to build a castle on there I am not sure when I will be doing that because uh, that would need uh, quite some uh, time to figure out the landscaping because uh, that would take quite some time uh, also you can see that I am uh, on my main base and house that is still not finished because I would probably like to still add the floor or two and uh, figure out a good roof 
And there, here is my light tower. Uh, which I will have to upgrade because this this is just not going to do. Uh, the bottom part is rather good, but I will have to increase the height of this uh, upper part most definitely by 15, 20 blocks maybe. I don't know, but uh, I want to make it uh, much more bigger and uh, maybe majestic, if I might say that. But let's go inside to take a quick look around. Now, <clears throat> this is my upper floor that I initially built for to be somewhat of a living space. But as you can see, it turned out to be storage. And I cannot have enough storage because I am collecting everything. I mean, uh, so many things that uh, I just take and have and... Uh, uh, anything I mean yeah you can see I have some issues with collecting stuff even if I don't need them I just take them hello uh, this is currently the middle floor which was built uh, in the early days this has some nice uh, rooms that are not perfectly furnished but more or less like this enchanting room that looks really nice but I have never used it <laughs> Not once. I have a small uh, brewing kitchen uh, that I also have never used. Reasons for that a bit later. This is my kitchen kitchen. Mm, empty. I am hungry. I need some food now, please. There is a small terrace here, which I had to build because I needed more storage room. So under me. There is, of course, more storage room. Um, this is the main entrance to the base, although I rarely ever use it. I rarely ever use this floor altogether, because the main place where I am is actually here at the basement. This is pretty much uh, in the first week's build, where I was living here, and I still actually live and sleep here. There are all my props primary tools and storage space pretty much here is everything that i need and use on a daily basis and as i can see there are some things that i still haven't put away to the place where they should be but anyway let's move on i have some automated storage space like here and down there and even down beneath there i mean i have one two three layers of different things i mean this is mostly farming then below there are some mining stuff all kinds of stones and even more farming there and the bottom one is pretty much just a coal and redstone ore so yeah this will have to go there too but not now because i am lazy this is also a storage around the walls you can see all the barrels they are all filled with stone. Well, that's quite awkward. <laughs> they are all filled with stone. <laughs> I open up one of the barrels and <laughs> Andersite is just laughing at me. I mean, I could have opened any barrels, but I obviously opened the one that has Andersite. Oh, that's... Uh. Anyway... I think that we should go down to the mines, because I have some things there to show you guys. This will take some time. Shouldn't take it this long, but anyway. So this is my mind, where I can actually see that I have mined a lot. And even more. I have one slime farm here, on many many levels and one slime farm here on even more levels i think this has like seven levels this is just like four four or three i don't even know that's because that's the ocean is there but anyway you can see the one of the storage systems from the bottom and i will have to enlarge that till i get down here but anyway slime farms work rather easily I have iron golems, hello, 
slime spawn there on many levels. They try to kill the iron golems, that, which are named bait. <laughs> the slime fall down, the, down to the fire, they die, and they get transported up, up, up to the storage system with everything else. Uh, this is my seagrass farm, if I can say that. I just don't see. Uh, not much going on here. As you can see, I have quite a lot of emeralds. And this might be a bit more impressive because uh, uh, you might not see it, but uh, everything that is upwards here on those, those, these, and that wall line is actually was excavated because uh, what is above us are my underground farms and this was a lot to excavate i mean mycelium farm berry farm cocoa bean farm pumpkin farm i mean yeah just try to look down there and everything else i mean I have a lot to farm and of course there is another storage system this contains mostly dirt grass blocks sand stone cobblestone and what else I don't even know uh, these are my transportation systems because I re really hated that I m uh, farmed a huge inventory of carrots or something and I was like running up every time to put them into a storage system so i just built uh, such transportation stuff to pretty much every single level and uh, it might look complex but it's actually very very easy but anyway let's go upstairs uh, yeah i kind of got into brewing because it was like fun to do it sometimes but uh, yeah that might have been a little too much. There are some villagers here. On the very first week uh, of this game, I have uh, acquired two villagers from a nearby village. That was really lucky. I could uh, just ship them here. And they were the beginning uh, of this group of villagers that I have bred up over time. And they became the basis of uh, my village that I have here. There's another honey farm here, which is uh, probably the best I have built because it actually looked really nice, especially before I automated it, like uh, you can see here. It looked much nicer when the uh, beehives were like down there, but I wanted to add redstone because I was so lazy uh, with checking them one by one. I mean, this is just so much easier and even this I should automate a little more like a uh, hopper system that collects everything so i don't even really have to come in here but um, maybe another time this is the main market square where actually you can see some uh, really nice items and everything else and there are some villagers already up and running for some reason, some of them cannot find a bed for themselves, which is kind of ridiculous, but, uh, well, not really my problem. I mean, uh, there are many, many beds, so they really should be able to figure things out. Uh, this is my dock and uh, warehouse, where I have, have some riches. <laughs> This is pretty much just a show off to the people who come by that oh I am so rich I am putting out diamonds and gold and there is some netherite blocks uh, down there somewhere and uh, as you can see this crane is actually putting these diamonds into the water which means that at some point I would really have to make a ship problem is that I do not know how to make a nice ship at the moment all I can do is a barge which just looks ridiculous but anyway maybe one day this is one of the earlier vaults of mine where i collected my riches but uh, this is rather small and doesn't really represent my wealth uh, i mean as you can see i have just stuff flying around 
in the warehouse. You can go up. Hello, guys. They got stuck here somehow, but I don't care. As you can see, I have di diamonds and netherite and everything else. I mean, emerald or Ooh, that's really nice. Uh, let's keep looking around. Ooh, golems everywhere. Sometimes I just hunt them down with a bow and arrow, of course, because up close, oh, one to one, they just can kill me rather fast. And I am not really into that. I have this nice sun temple with enchanted golden apples that I have found by uh, coming by uh, spawners. Yeah, those are the one. I mean, I go down and mine a lot. Diamonds. Oh, how did you get, get in here? I mean, these rails are supposed to keep these people out. But it seems that... Uh, what I think is that when the iron golem come here, they just uh, push in the villagers sometimes. And that's how they can get in. But to be perfectly honest, I don't really care. It's his problem. Villagers here in the town are just for the good visuals, so it seems lively and everything. Uh, these are the stables that I have built and I am really proud of this one. On the upper floor we have my shop, where I can sell all kinds of stuff to the people on the server, if they come here and buying. I mean, I don't really have many customers because I do not advertise the shop, so <laughs> if that makes sense. Uh, I have built another shop. Uh, where I sell enchanted books, uh, not all of them, I still have time to work on it. And uh, many many other things like wool, potions, uh, riches and everything. On the bottom floor you can see my trading hall, where I try to collect more and more useful villagers. I have these farmers. And what I produce down uh, at the underground farms, all the things, carrots, potatoes, everything, I bring uh, most of it here and uh, sell them and get all the emeralds in the world so I can trade the other villagers for books and everything. But at some point I would really want to expand this to have much more villagers uh, for different uh, trades. So let's move on. Oh yeah, I have managed to collect all the discs. Uh, my base is rather easily uh, accessible for people who wander around, although it's quite rare that someone just wanders uh, this part of the map, uh, I would say, because I don't really see other people popping up. I mean, I have played uh, over a thousand hours on this server, but still I have seen only like, what, uh, maybe five or six people uh, that I have seen. I mean, probably there were more, but uh, usually this part of the server is rather deserted. I mean, I know only a, a couple of bases around in like a 500 blocks radius, but uh, they are all abandoned, so not uh, much to do there. Oh. I guess I could show you something that I forgot here. I also have some underground farming here too. As you can see, yeah, there is another storage for the farm goods. There is another one for the wool, and yes, I have a third bee farm, or honey farm here, as well, and above us, there are even more sheep that produce the wool for me, 32 to be exact, two from every color, um, and I think that at this point, uh, I would like to take you to the last place uh, that I think uh, you should see, which is the city. 
that I have started to build after an extensive uh, land flattening project that took me way too much time. As you can see, I have made a 20 by 20 uh, plots of land where anybody can come here, claim a plot and build whatever they want. So far, no one did that, although, as, uh, as I said before, I am not uh, uh, advertising this at all. Um, because I am lazy and secondly, I don't mind if I, I am alone in a way because then I can do whatever I want. But anyway, one day I hope to make here the city center where I would have to make a public warp spot somehow so people could uh, come here and they can look around. Here I have a mine that I have built some time ago. It goes down rather deep. Uh, be careful. And I have started to make here uh, some, sort of, some sort of a forge, warehouse, blacksmith station. And uh, I rather like this building because it took me quite some time to figure out and uh, it's still not finished. I mean, um, I haven't done anything uh, uh, for the interior and the exterior is uh, rather unfinished as well. But it looks like okay-ish. Uh, this site will be built in. I, I am planning to make here another house, so uh, ignore these sides of these buildings. And this building is just still the ground floor, so that's not much. But uh, I would also like to uh, bring here some villagers, where two to be exact, because I what I would like to do is to have some villagers here and put them in some of the buildings like uh, here. I have made a small office and I would like to put there a villager and um, I haven't figured out yet how but I would have to do it in a way that the villager would be fully enclosed here like so they cannot leave this uh, small like two blocks area. It would be ideally one block probably I will figure something out but uh, I will also like to make uh, here shops and uh, other things too I think this would be all for today I have some ideas uh, for next videos but as I said I will mostly do uh, twitch streams because they are far much easier uh, I don't really have to work on them. I mean, I just turn on the streaming and just play the game, having fun. So I don't have to do anything else, really. And that's uh, much better than spending hours and hours endlessly editing. Although, I will do some of those, but only from the really important stuff. Uh, but anyway, thank you for watching. If you enjoyed this video, then please like, share, subscribe, you know the drill. Leave a comment, speak your mind. I would really love to hear some of your opinions about uh, various things that uh, you might have seen in the video. But have a wonderful day everybody. Bye bye.